Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. This is Lee, or Le- Lee, I think, L-E-I-G-H. I think that's Lee. Hope I'm saying that right. Heading of the email is Nikon D800. Good morning. I've subscribed to your YouTube videos and watched some reviews on the seven Nikon D750 versus the D800. I had a Canon 6D that I purchased just a few months ago. I love the camera, but I didn't so much like the way the grip felt in my hand, and I felt there were some limitations with what I wanted to do with my photography in the future. I did love how fast the autofocus was, though. That said, I decided to sell my Canon 6D for $900, and I purchased a mint Nikon D800 with 9,000 shutter clicks, original box, and accessories for $1,000, so I only had to put in $100. Wow, I'm just going to stop for a second. That's a good deal. The Nikon D800 with 9,000 clicks for $1,000. Awesome deal. And if I do say so myself, a far better camera, more advanced, uh, better tech, better everything than the 60. So you really got an upgrade there for $100. That's a good deal. After purchasing the Nikon 50mm F1.8G, I noticed that the autofocus was noticeably slower than on my Canon 60 with the 50 f one STM lens. Is the autofocus on the D750 that noticeably faster and better than on the D800 to the point I should consider making another switch? I read your review on the new D750 versus the used D800, and that played a part in my decision to purchase the D800. Mind you, my serial number on the D800 is a later issue, so it's not supposed to be affected by the autofocusing issue these cameras have been known to have. Other than that, I'm happy with my purchase. My photography will be mostly portrait, street, and architecture. Thank you for your help, and apologies for the lengthy email. Lay. Well, thank you. Um, and initially, I'd say no, but uh, I, I don't think the autofocus... Uh, the autofocus in the D800, I've shot it and the 810, uh, and I love them. It's a beautiful camera. And with that rich 36 megapixel file, uh, it's just a very, very capable camera. It's good for video. It outputs very, very nice 1080 video. It's an awesome all-around camera, and you got it for a great price. I'm surprised you're finding the, the focus slower, and it may just be that 50 paired with yours, with your camera. Uh, I would try some other primes, and then I would also try some faster zooms. So you're probably what you want to do is take your camera into your local camera store, put a 24 to 70 f2.8 um, from from Nikon, brand new f2.8. Not saying you're going to want to buy that right away, but to see what the autofocus is like on your camera, that'll give you an idea. Um, if you know, play with some other lenses on it is what I'm saying. So I would try a 24 to 70 f2.8. I would try the 70 to 200 f2.8. I would then look at a slower, less expensive lens and see how the autofocus is. For instance, my one of my favorite zooms from Nikon that you may like very much on that D800 is the 24 to 120 f4 VR. That should autofocus very quickly on on the D800. I've used it on there. I've used it on the D810, and I love it. Um, so I wouldn't um, I wouldn't make any decisions or think too much into that until you've tried some other lenses on there. And I think once you try some other lenses, you'll get a much better idea of what 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 the autofocus system is because the autofocus system on that should be faster than the 60. I don't think you should be finding it slower. The other thing is check your settings. Check what your autofocus settings are. Maybe um, something's been changed. Had, when you got the camera, did you do a factory reset? If you check the manual, I don't know it offhand, but if you check the manual or Google it online, you'll be able to find how to do a factory reset to the D800. In other words, to put all the settings back to the way they were when it came out of the box. Sometimes a setting gets changed and it was for a specific reason, but it impacts other things. And then you can't figure out why it's affecting the other things or something's changed. Your autofocus speed may be slower for some reason. Um, And if you do a factory reset, you may find that 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 changes things. Uh, Also check and see if there was a um, firmware update available that hasn't been done. I would check all those things as well as playing with some other lenses at the store before you start worrying about it not being a fast autofocus system because the D800 is a very capable autofocus system. So that's what I would do. I don't think you're going to find the 750 is faster. Again, if you're at the store, you could play with the two um, and see. And maybe what you need to do is while you're at the store, play with the 6D uh, with a similar lens and with the um, the Nikon D800, yours, and with a 750. And see, and then see side by side because maybe maybe it's not a direct comparison. Maybe you're just thinking it was faster and it really isn't in real life. So I would try all that first. Throw it back to you guys. What do you think? Uh, would you do uh, what I've suggested? Get into the store, try some other lenses, check for a firmware update, do a factory reset first. Um, is there anything else you would suggest doing? Any other suggestions for Lay to um, figure out uh, what's going on with the D800? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's uh, help him out or her. I'm not sure. Uh, um, I'm not sure that's him or her.
I apologize. I'm, um, I guess there's so many names nowadays that are um, that are uh, ambidextrous. Is that the right word? <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for your question. Thanks for your feedback, guys. Looking forward to seeing your comments below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.